Now that we have a certificate authority up and we've looked at how we can manage certificates, in fact, we've created a new certificate for EFS for Windows 10, is there a way we can set that up so that users will auto enroll in that certificate or get that certificate automatically issued to them? Actually, there is. Uh, there's going to be a couple of pieces to this. Let's start by going to Tools and Certification Authority. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to verify here. First off, we're going to right click on our CA. We're going to go to Properties and we're going to look at our policy modules, our policy module and then Properties. Now, by default, it should be set to this option. Follow the settings in the certificate template if applicable. Otherwise, automatically issue the certificate. That's what we want. That's fine. We'll hit OK. Then we need to go to our certificate itself. So we're going to right click on our certificate templates and go to manage. As remember, we make changes here in the management and we're going to find our Windows 10 EFS certificate. This is a certificate we want people to automatically enroll in. So I'm going to right click on that and go to properties. And then under security, I want to find my domain users and for my domain users, I want to allow them to auto enroll. They already have the enroll option. I want to allow them to auto enroll as well and apply and OK. Now that sets it up here with my certificate template. It doesn't activate it yet for all of my users. For that, I need to do it in group policy. So I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to find my group policy management. And from my group policy, I'm going to create a new policy here called cert auto enroll and it's just what I chose to name it it can be named anything it can be added to an existing policy as well so I'm going to right click and edit that policy and from that policy I want to go to user configuration policies windows settings security settings and public key policies and from my public key policies, I'm looking for this, Certificate Services Client Auto Enrollment. I'm going to open that. Now, by default, it's not configured. So I want to enable auto enrollment. And then I want to renew expired certifications, update pending, remove revoke, update certificates that use certificate templates. And that should give me most of the settings that I want. So I'm going to hit Apply and OK. Now remember, this policy doesn't take effect until I actually link it somewhere. I want this to take effect for everybody. So I'm going to link it to Dalton.local. I'm going to link an existing GPO, and it's going to be Cert Auto Enroll, and I'm going to click OK. All right, so at this point, anybody who logs in should be subject to that policy and they should automatically enroll that certificate. Let's see if we can make it do it. I'm going to start by opening up my MMC. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I don't want that one. Let me try this again. Run and give me a blank MMC console. And from my blank MMC console, I want to go to action and it's not action, it's file. Add remove snap in. And I want to choose certificates. I'm not looking at templates or the certification authority. I'm looking at certificates. And I'm going to add my certificate, for my user account, and hit OK. So if I expand certificates for my current user, personal certificates, I'm going to see one here already an issue to administrator, by administrator, intended purpose is file recovery. Now, that's not the one that I wanted. I'm going to close this and let's go back to our command prompt and run the command gp update forward slash force and this should update our policy and let's see if this gets us uh, updates our policy and enrolls us in that certificate computer policy is successfully updated we need to wait for it to update the user policy as well user policy has completed successfully Okay, now back to run and MMC from my management console. Go to file, add remove snap ins. I want to look at certificates from my account and expand certificates, 
personal and look at certificates. And now I have two certificates. This one right here, issued to administrator, issued by Dalton David CA. That's a server that we just set. It expires in 2021. Its intended purpose is EFS. And the certificate template is the Windows 10 EFS certificate. So we have successfully set up and tested auto enrollment. Now, the great thing about doing this, let's just talk about using this for EFS. You can do it with other certificates as well, by the way. By doing it with EFS, remember EFS is your file system. And it... Uh, is used by NTFS for encrypting files, and everybody who saves to that encrypted folder will encrypt it with their own certificate. Well, this gives us a way of centrally managing those certificates. And by doing it this way, setting up auto enrollment, it means uh, nobody has to self sign a certificate, and it gives us centralized management of all of these certificates. So that's how we set up and configure uh, auto enrollment or certificates with ADCS.